Hello. Today I'm going to show you a, a little project that I've been working on for the last about um, two months now. And as you can see, I've got some stuff laid out here. I've got my laptop. I've got the actual project here. And this is basically a laser projector. We've got a laser in here, a little 7 milliwatt, um, 700 nanometer laser, so nothing too serious. And we've got two stepper motors, which control two mirrors very fast so that the laser dot gets deflected uh, very quickly. And this is basically how Galvo scanners work. Um, they don't actually use stepper motors, but very special Galvo actuators, which are very fast, but also very expensive and very um, complicated to drive. So in this project, I try to replicate this kind of uh, drive system with very cheap components like these stepper motors and this very cheap laser diode all the electronics in there. This is a very um, weak laser though, so this is just a basic proof of concept. Um, this laser won't be able to burn anything. Um, but I wanted to kind of build this whole system without um, being in, in danger basically. So I just made this very with a very cheap and um, weak laser basically. And now that I know that this works, I'll probably replicate this with a very high power laser to actually engrave some pictures or maybe even cut stuff. We'll see. All right then, let's get into it and I'll zoom into this area and then I'll show the optics and mechanics and electronics and then we'll go over the whole system. All right, here we are zoomed in. And as you can see, I've got this whole system mounted on a linear rail just to be able to Kind of get this thing stable on a well on a relatively stable base and I know which distance this is just by me measuring it with a ruler so I can actually tweak this to be quite accurate um, or relatively accurate for such a low precision build. Um, starting with the laser I've got a little laser diode in here just basically just yeah it's a, a slip fit in there this is just a small laser diode that's, um, I think, 654 nanometers of wavelength. So a very normal, like, red laser pointer. And it got a um, maximum output uh, wattage of about um, 7 milliwatts. So it's a bit more powerful than a normal laser pointer, but uh, nothing too serious. And it's um, an old machine brass thing in here. That's basically a heat sink. And maybe you can see the little glass lens in there. Maybe I'll zoom into there. Yes, I think you can see that now. And that's a um, lens system that collimates the beam. What does that mean? Well, basically this whole, we zoom out here. This, or basically every um, normal laser diode has a very high beam uh, divergence. So the, so the beam isn't a normal uh, straight line that you would expect from a normal laser pointer, um, but diverges quite quickly. So we actually must find a way to narrow that divergence down to just a few millirad. Um, so very low deflection angle, oh sorry, divergence angle. And that's why we've got this little thread in here and you can see at the bottom is the collimator and via this thread I can actually tweak the position of the collimator relative to the laser diode so that the beam is optimally collimated. Let me just get this in there now. Okay. Now the beam actually is collimated and exits here and, um, and it hits the first mirror here which is this one and this mirror is turned by the stepper motor right here and it's attached to the um, stepper motor using this aluminium piece here and some um, metal glue. Okay and well after it hits this uh, first mirror here it hits the second one and exits in basically the direction of these slots here so parallel to the uh, rail. Um, at least in the homed position. So 
to home this machine to know where the machines or where the, the mirrors are. I've got this all, these switches here. And I've got the machine set up so that it hit, hits the end switch and then steps a, a known angle back so that it can actually tweak this to be perfectly 45 degrees, which would be the neutral angle. And here's the second end stop. You can actually move it like this. Okay, that's the, the basic optics. So I've got the laser, the collimator, and the two mirrors that are controlled by the stepper motors and the end stops. That's basically it for the mechanics. And as you can see, we've got quite a few wires coming out of this whole box here. Um, oh yeah, just a little comment. For this um, demonstration, I'm going to use this old wood plank for the projection plane here. It doesn't really matter. This, this whole thing isn't designed to cut anything. So it shouldn't be a mirror because you can't actually see a dot on a mirror. You know, wood will suffice for this demonstration. Okay, then let's go into the electronics. Got this little box laser cut on the laser cutter that I made on this channel. Um, we've got this potentiometer here, which you can turn and then you can adjust the laser output power. Got the fan that just cools the whole thing. And let me just open this box up. Okay, here we are. We've got the electronics uh, in frame now. And yeah, there's nothing special going on in here. We've got um, basically the power in, which is just uh, 12 volts, I believe. And this 12 volts gets um, fed direct directly to the stepper drivers in here which are silent step sticks TMC2209 and the, 20, uh, the, the TMC2209 chip is a very reliable high quality chip by Trinamic, which is actually a uh, German manufacturer. And I've got these from Watterrot.de, which is German as well. Um, and the whole chip, the main chip is basically this um, Teensy 4.0 microcontroller. And that's just because the TMC, or the, the TMC has a very, very high clock frequency. So this has a clock frequency of, of about um, 600 megahertz, I think. And a normal Arduino has about 16 megahertz. So this is about 35 times faster than a normal Arduino, which really is nice when you need very, very fast movements with the stepper motors. And then we've got yeah, we've got this LM317 linear voltage regulator, which regulates the voltage from 12 volts down to 5 volts for the Teensy. And yeah, that's basically it. The Teensy gives the, the commands to the stepper motor drivers and via pin, I don't know, I think it's 14, a um, little transistor is activated, this one in here, that activates the whole laser driver circuit, which is this um, thing in here, which I, well, I just bought that. So this, um, so I can use this little 3.3 voltage logic via the uh, transistor to actually power the laser. And this is nice because you can actually scale that up. The transistor can supply much more than the little current that's flowing in the little 7 milliwatt laser. So I could actually hook up a very, or a relatively strong uh, laser driver to this without changing the whole circuit. Maybe if this uh, laser was very powerful, I would need a different transistor or a MOSFET or something. But the whole um, kind of setup wouldn't change too much. Um, yeah, we've got the output of the motor here. This is Y, I think. This is X. And these are the inputs for the end stops in here, which are fed directly to the pins or the digital in pins of the uh, Teensy. And using this potentiometer, you can actually tweak the uh, power of the laser or the power of the laser diode. Um, as you can see, here, this is the output for the laser diode. We've got red, which is well, plus. So it's, I think, um, about 3.2 volts. 
uh, keep in mind this is a um, constant current source. Well, lasers aren't um, driven by constant voltage sources, like a battery or something, but by constant current sources, because lasers, or laser diodes need very, very controlled and stable current to drive them without um, destroying the laser diodes. And believe me, I've, um, I, I speak from experience. I've killed a lot of laser diodes in this project. And then we've got this uh, little yellow pin here, which is basically just shot to ground via a resistance of um, 3 kilo ohms to um, 12 kilo ohms via this linear potentiometer. And the higher the resistance to ground of this wire, uh, yellow cable here, the uh, lower the laser power. So with 3 kilo ohms of resistance we've got maximum laser power and with um, 13 I think or 12 kilo ohms we've got minimum laser power. Yeah, that's it. We've got some resistors and other passives in here that which are not too um, interesting. So this should be it. Oh yeah, this is the... These are the pins for the uh, fan, which is just basically 12 volts DC. Alright, let me close that up and we can go to the software. Now the whole thing is controlled via USB. And the nice thing about this box is that um, you know, the only two outputs it has is, or the, the only two cables that we care about is this mains plug, which is um, just all adapter for 12 volts, and the USB power, or the USB plug. So this is very, kind of a clean way to do it, I think. Alright, so here we are. This is the firmware, or part of it. And the firmware of the uh, Teensy 4.0 is actually written in the Arduino IDE. I've called it Galvo firmware, and yeah, I don't think that I'll go into this very deeply because you can actually download this on my GitHub page if you want to go into this. Basically, um, we've got the whole the firmware settings, which are basically just some distances and steps and uh, speeds and stuff like this, and then we've got the firmware. And actually, this is written uh, completely by myself, you know, uh, disregarding the stepper libraries. And this uh, firmware actually receives the G-code commands by the user and interprets them to um, basically give out the correct commands to the pins, you know, switch the laser on or off, or home the machine or move the machine in, I don't know, 20 steps in right direction, something like this. And you can do this via the serial monitor of the Arduino IDE, which of course has the downside that you can only enter one command at a time. So I wrote a Python script that I'll show in a moment that actually sends the uh, commands basically in the correct order from a G-code file. Alright, let's see how that works. Alright, here we are in PyCharm. Um, basically the IDE I use for Python. As you can see, it's a very, very uh, short kind of script that just um, opens the file, um, sleeps a bit to um, make sure that it actually is connected properly, and then reads all the files and um, sends them. And the G-code files that I've been using are just normal G-code files or normal text files, so .txt. Um, which contain the different G-code commands that I've implemented into the firmware. And yeah, let's connect the whole thing up and see how that looks. Alright, here we are. Let's plug this into the computer. Well, there we go. And we can just I'm just going to demonstrate this via serial. And of course we're going to use some um, G-code files later on. Uh, as you can see, I've got this fan running that's just cooling the whole thing down. So I'm just going to put in G28, which is the G-code command for homing, and just here. Yeah, so we've got two clicks, that means the machine is homed, and I can actually uh, fire the laser, which is M3. There we are. I can actually 
of course I can turn it off via M4 or M5. There it is. And I can turn it off uh, on again and then just kind of um, move it. As you can see, I'm just gonna do it like this. And this moves the whole laser dot, of course. There we are. And, well, let me just turn that laser off. And um, I can actually do arc moves, so not just linear moves, um, which is uh, the G0 or G1, um, but that's a little harder to explain, so I just leave that out. And I'll show that on the hard test, which is a very special G code that I wrote, um, which tests how fast we can actually move this, move this whole thing. I'll show that in a second. Right, so here we are back in the Python environment and I'm going to show some G codes that I've pre-written. I've got some, I've got a very normal square here. It's just, um, I don't know, play, I start, then it homes the mirrors, the first one and the second one. And now you can see a square that's projected in here um, and this can actually go quite a lot and this actually can go quite a lot faster uh, let me just show the next one just g-code middle and this should actually show a parallelogram so it's just homing this and then should see a parallelogram. So you can see this is just moving the mirror. And it actually can go quite a lot faster, just as I said, but um, because these are quite cheap stepper motors, this actually doesn't work too well. So I'll just do this, which is heart speed test. And this actually projects a heart, which you'll see in a few seconds over there. Here we are, and the heart actually gets distorted quite a lot, and it's really fast. Yeah, here we are. So um, at around 10,000 steps per second, which is middle, middle range for this test, it actually looks pretty well. Um, but at the end, it's really distorted and kind of vibrating, and doesn't really look like a heart anymore. I'll just show that again. It needs to home the whole thing. Uh, there we are. That's a little bit too slow. That's actually too... That's pretty good. And now it's got a really... Yeah, now it's really distorted. So this actually... I mean, it, it probably really depends on the whole um, stability of the thing, uh, how well the stepper motors are made, uh, how much current these actually are, are driven on. And uh, this whole thing can actually can't actually provide too much current, so I'll experiment. So I'll have to experiment with this a bit more. Um, but as you can see, this works. It's not as fast as a normal laser Galvo actuator, but it's a lot cheaper. And yeah, let me just talk about what I'll do with this um, in the next version of this whole thing. So as I already said, this actually was a build to kind of show that this is possible, a proof of concept basically, um, to show that actually stepper motors can be that fast to actually um, kind of drive this whole thing. Um, so the actual purpose of this whole project is to actually replace this whole thing, um, to replace this laser with a very powerful 445 nanometer um, laser which actually can engrave and cut stuff. And um, when I do that, I of course have to use better stepper motors so that it's more accurate. I'll use some trinamic um, stepper motors. I'll use different mirrors, which are a lot lighter than this whole thing here. And I'll build something that's a little bit more, um, that can actually supply a little bit more current than this can. Um, and of course, I'll build built an entire enclosure so that the laser beam doesn't really exit the whole 
area and um, I don't burn myself basically. Uh, yeah, so that's basically in the future. I've already got some parts ordered for that and I just wanted to show this um, project in here. Alright, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of um, just show and tell basically. Let me know what you think of this whole project in the comments down below. And as soon as I've got this whole project done, I'll definitely make a video about it. And um, yeah, you can actually follow my Instagram page to kind of get little mini updates on the whole project if you want to. And of course you can subscribe to this channel, give this video a like if you want to. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys then.